Hello traders out there in Traderland, D7 here with Grok Trade, and let's have a mentor moment. I got something to teach you. That's how I build up my Popeye forearms. <laughs> Take a look here at the markets. We're going to do the weekly chart first, US dollar. We're going to play a little game called What Comes Next? So the US dollar weekly chart is at a major resistance line. We up, 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 what comes next? If you look here at gold, down, down, down at a support line, what comes next? Silver on a weekly chart, we broke a support line, we're starting to bounce, but we're at a 200 day moving average, what comes next? The VIX weekly chart rallied up, 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 touched two trend lines and came right back down, what comes next? So if you go up here to the spider, we are pulling back. We've had several weeks of bearish activity. We were down 2.2% um, there, and we were down a quarter of a point, 2%. So we're down roughly 5% in the last three weeks, guys, on the S&P 500, 5% in the last three weeks. Um, diamonds at a major support line on the weekly chart. What comes next? NASDAQ, we're just down, down, down last three uh, weeks. If you look here, down 3%, down one and a half, four and a half, now six. So um, going at 7% down on the NASDAQ. Russell's 2000, same thing, big, big, big drop. And we're at a, a, you know, a big trend line or a moving average line coming across here. And, and we got the 20 day, 20 week rather, and the 200 coming together. Financials, if you look at this, we're at a major support line. What comes next? But here's the big deal on the financials on the weekly chart. It's a big symmetrical triangle. I drew in this red line coming up here. The problem is we got above this trend line on a symmetrical triangle, and now we come back down below it. This could be the beginning of a death hook on the weekly chart on the on the financials. If this becomes a bearish death hook, what this means is it'll run up, it broke out, it came back within the confines of the apex of these two blue lines, the symmetrical triangle, and it will crash and burn lower. That's what this means. You won't find death hooks anywhere else, bullish and bearish death hooks anywhere else, but here at Grok Trade, it's something that we teach at the mentorship. And if you look here, at, um, so that that's but we're gonna now head over here to the daily charts <coughs> the daily charts now the daily chart we're gonna look at this and this is where we're gonna i'm gonna teach you a, a few things here you'll see we had a sizable sell-off the last three weeks just nasty 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 little pullback with this pullback you're going to see this gap down run up. See this dangling white candlestick? We call those white tails, white tails, white tails. You'll learn that in the master trader and the mentorship. White tails, there is a very big play you can make on these. And to show you um, other white tails, what you're looking for are these little dangling white bodies like this one. Do you see that? Little dangling white bodies and see how it pops up afterwards. Do you see this dangling white body pops up? So that's that these are called white tails. See the dangling white body and it pops up. So um, dangling white body and pops up. These are white tails. So the white tails can be really bullish if you know what to do with them. We have a white tail right here. Now if you guys remember last week, this is last week looking at the uh, S&P 500, okay? S&P 500, we saw this. We had a major support line. So we had resistance, resistance, and major support. I said, look for this to pop. But the question is, how long will it pop? It did pop on Monday. Tuesday, it broke its back. It not only did it not go higher, it went lower, lower, high, lower, low. It broke this area that should have been support now is going to be on the wrong side of that. Then we quickly get down to this trend line. When we got to the trend line, again, this is Wednesday, it had to hold and it did not. It gapped higher and then came crashing down Thursday. And then Friday, we get a gap down run up. There's your white tail and that's your dangling white body. That's what you have down there at the bottom. So that's where we're at right now. So the question is, what is the MACD doing? If you look at the MACD here, you'll see that the histogram went from dark red to pink. That's usually a bullish activity. Bull that just means you're coming down, the MACD line and the signal line are coming together. They're getting closer. 
That's all that means. And that means we could be crossing over and heading back up. If so, look for this to rally higher on the daily chart on the spiders. So if you look at your the Mac or the RSI, look how oversold we are. Very oversold. Anytime we get down in these white areas, the market tends to rally. We get down here, the market rallies. Get down there, the market rallies. That's where we're at right now. So what should happen next? That's the big question. If I go here to the NASDAQ daily chart, down, down, down. And if I zoom in here on the Qs, we're at a major, major support trend line. So what should happen next? What should happen next? We've got a dangling white body. A add a major support area if you look at the macd we do have a pink um, histogram and we are down in on the rsi below major sold areas but what's the russell's 2000 doing let's take a look at that dangling white body we close back above two major trend lines so this could be a jab in other words a bullish jab we went down 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 closing below those two trend lines but it immediately healed itself we got a pink histogram. Those two lines are coming together. A big hook to the upside on the RSI, which is oversold. And, uh, again, this is on IWM. This is the Russell's 2000. What's the financials doing? If you look at the financials, down, 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 dangling white body. We have that there. We have two pinks in a row. We have a hook down here. What should happen next? Now, remind you, on the S, on the SLF, the weekly is showing significant trouble. So if the daily drops here but rallies back up, closing above, this would be a bullish head hook to the upside. So all eyes, guys, and this did pull back to the 61.8 uh, Fibonacci. The reason this is important is um, what's interesting is you'll see that the market makers opened it up there on Friday and it rallied higher. This is a really important number. You don't want to see it drop below that. So that tells me this is a good area to see buyers come in, rally back up. But the question is, will this be short-lived? And it may. We might only get a few days here before we get another sizable drop to the downside. I hope no, I haven't lost anybody. And if I've earned a like, give that to me. But here's the next question. Here's the daily chart, US dollar. Uh, and we have a lower high, lower low, doji's top here. See how I got a red line up here? Watch this. We have a red line coming down on the MACD. So we have a bearish divergence. You and I know what should happen next. So what should happen next on the US dollar? If the US dollar goes down, that should bode well for the stocks and it should bode well for gold. The daily chart on gold closed down below a trend line. That's no bueno, no good, but we got a big time crossover getting ready to happen on the MACD, way oversold on the RSI. And every time we get down here in these areas, we tend to rally. See this, we're down here, rally, down here, small rallies, they, don't, they didn't last long. Down here again, nice rally. We're down there even further. We should get a rally, but the problem is this trend line, it broke down below. It could keep going down, but we're way oversold. It needs to relieve itself. It needs to rally higher. Same thing with silver. Um, it's trying to go up. It's just weird to see an up leg with red candlesticks, right? Uh, VIX, look at VIX, went up, touched a line and came right back down. This looks like it's way overbought, crossing over. We got a light green, which is bearish on the histogram. It should go lower. And I'm gonna give you an extra bonus thing here. So. Um, if you like what I showed you, great. I'm going to give me a like. It doesn't cost you anything to do that. But this is the bond market, 10-year <clears throat> versus the two-year. Anytime the two-year is paying more than the 10-year, which should not be the case, that's called an inversion. We've had six inversions in the past. Every time we've had an inversion, we've always had a market recession. Twenty Around 24% market um, pullback plus double-digit unemployment. And it is 100% so far. It's happened. Well, we're in the deepest. So wait first. See this red line coming across? Anytime it dips below that red line, that's an inversion and we get this market correction. This is a monthly chart, by the way. So um, don't be fooled by how little some of these drops are because they are significant drops. 
So here we had an inversion because the blue line is below the red line and the market had a major crash here. This is the technology bubble crash, all right? We come down here again. This is in 2006. We get this little drop there. Then we have one here right before 2007, the major, major crash of 2008 happened after that. Now, believe it or not, we had an inversion right before the corona crash. I don't know what the correlation is there, but sure enough, we did invert for a very short time, and then we had a major crash. But we are now more inverted than we've the inversion is deeper than it's ever been and it has lasted longer than it ever has. We don't know what correlation there is to that or how to, you know, what to expect. Other than the fact that when this heads back up and corrects itself, we are on a big time chance of another major leg to the downside. So um, you need to know how to short or to be using short instruments in the markets or if you are, have your money invested somewhere that they know how to and have things in place to short or be in short instruments in that environment uh, when it comes. So that's something to look for. Now, because you guys love it so much and to, to earn a like, I'm gonna quickly go over here and look at a couple key things on tech stocks because you guys seem to like these tech stocks when I go here. Again, this is a daily chart on Apple. If you look at it, it's down, 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 just got killed. Um, look for this, bullish divergences here. Look for this to rally. Um, this is buy opportunity way over, over, oversold. Um, AMD, same thing, gap down, run up look for this to bounce, but it could be short-lived. Amazon, um, gap down run up, but it's at a major support line. Look how it closed on that support line, guys. This could be ready to pop, so be watching that. Anybody else I wanna look here? Um, quick look at Baidu. It was a nasty drop going into earnings. I do not like to hold it over earnings. And um, anybody else I wanna look at? Meta, if you look at Meta. Um, it broke a major trend line on Wednesday, guys. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, look for a couple day bounce here. It could only be one day. Um, and then we have to reconvene to see what's going on. Netflix, got down and run up. It's like it's wanting to pop up. We got a, a, a pink Instagram. We got a hook down here on RSI, um, NVIDIA. I didn't give up too much this week and it hammers out. Like it's getting ready to pop higher. It's ready to go is what it looks like. And anybody else I want to look at here? Um, look at Roku, man. It's up Friday 3% at a major support line. That's why you got a lot of buyers coming in. Major opportunity for buyers to come in right there. But you got to be careful with them, right? Um, see what happens. And Tesla had this nice falling wedge and it, and it just broke apart on Tuesday. Tuesday it broke apart, Wednesday, da 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 da. And it's way, way oversold, but we have some, we, we do have a, a pink there, so it could be ready to go, go, go. So what I threw at you guys was everything. I gave you tech stocks, let you guys look at those. I taught you um, some things on the histogram that I've not taught before, and I also taught you some things on the, the, um, the white tails uh, that you've never heard before. And on top of that, I've shared with you the, the bond inversion, which you might have heard of or might not have heard of before. So threw a lot of stuff at you. It's just a sampling of our mentoring and what we do, but we do it for full. You know, think about what I just taught you in 15 minutes compared to three days of this. And when I share the more pertinent, important things of how to secure your funds in the live markets and trading with great confidence. But with that said, I hope I earned a big thumbs up. Take care, guys. And we'll catch you later. Why are you still here? You're supposed to be gone <laughs> while I still have you. <laughs> if you haven't joined the 301 mentorship yet, seriously give that some serious thought. Mark the Meerkat's been trading a long, long time in the markets. As you know, I have too. We 
take people under our wing and we teach you what we do to trade in the live markets. We trade a significant amount of money on a day-to-day -day basis in the live markets ourselves. If you're going to learn from anybody, learn from us. It's the 301 Mentorship Program. We've been doing this a long time, and we're happy to help you. There you have it. <laughs> now, get out of here. <laughs>